welcome to the 2020 CBI National Student Production Awards. I'm John Morris, president of CBI. First, we would like to recognize all members of the CBI board who have worked to bring you this virtual convention. Student Representative Laura Mooney, North Carolina State University. Vice President Lisa Marshall, Muskegon University. Development, Lynn Riggle, University of Mount Union. Treasurer, Dave Black, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Secretary, Stephen Haynes, Barry College. IT Content Director, Chris Kepler, University of Akron. Immediate Past President, Greg Weston, University of Pittsburgh. And Events Director, Jessica Clary, Savannah College of Art and Design. And speaking of the CBI board, three positions are up for election in the coming year. They are Vice President, IT Content Director, and Student Representative. The VP and IT are three-year terms, which begin in December of next year. The student representative is a one-year term, and that term starts in May. This is a great opportunity for you to take a leadership role in this fantastic organization. We will begin accepting nominations in November. Before we begin our student awards, CBI would like to present two special awards. First, we begin with a new award to CBI, the Excellence in Advising Award. Presenting the award is Dave Black. I'm pleased to be announcing the first recipient of our Excellence in Advising Award. I can't think of anyone more deserving. She is both kind and firm with her students, She's dedicated to the mission of her university and of her particular media. And she is just the best all around advisor I could possibly think of. Therefore, in recognition of exceptional dedication and service to student electronic media operations, the inaugural recipient of College Broadcasters Incorporated's Excellence in Advising Award is Jamie Lynn Gilbert of North Carolina State University. Congratulations, Jamie Lynn. Now, we would like to present the Joe Willer Award. Presenting the award is Sebastian Escobar. Thank you, John. Hello, my name is Sebastian Escobar, the station manager of WPSC-FM, the college radio station of William Patterson University of New Jersey. I'd like to begin by thanking the awards committee for the honor and opportunity of presenting the Joel Willer Award here today, albeit virtually at the comfort of my own home. This year's recipient of the Joel Willer Award is someone certainly well deserving of the recognition. This man deserves the Joel Willer Award because of everything he has done for the expressive medium that is college radio. This year, 2020, marked the 10th annual College Radio Day, an annual event that he founded as a way to celebrate and promote college radio. In the last 10 years, this man has worked tirelessly to promote and champion college radio and the students who work in it, not just nationally, but also internationally. In 2011, he co-founded World College Radio Day. Both then President Barack Obama and Vice President Joe Biden officially recognized World College Radio Day. Now, both College Radio Day and World College Radio Day have seen over 1,000 college radio stations participate in 43 different countries and I've received, I've received support from countless celebrities, music artists, and world leaders. In addition to this, he founded a nonprofit called the College Radio Foundation, a foundation that has raised now over $60,000 in college radio station grants. This man continues to work for the sake of college radio to help keep it alive and kicking. He is a leader who cares deeply about the future of the medium and the success of those students who are involved in it. He has given a tremendous amount to this cause. Nearly a decade in the making, he's an incredibly kind man and a great boss and friend. He is truly a pioneer in college radio and may we all live by his famous mantra, no guts, no glory. Therefore, presenting in recognition of exceptional dedication and service to student electronic media, this year's recipient of College Broadcasters Inc. Joel Wooler Award is Dr. Robert Quick of William Patterson University. 
now. It's time for what you've been waiting for, the awards. But first, the CBI board would like to thank our awards committee and our many awards category judges for all of their work in sifting through and viewing or listening to over 1,000 entries. Our judges are made up of faculty advisors, other faculty members, and industry professionals. The MC for this year's National Student Production Award Ceremony is Nika Rosa Danilova of Zola Jesus. Nika Rosa Danilova has been a recording artist and performing as Zola Jesus for more than a decade. As a classically trained opera singer with a penchant for noisy avant-garde sounds, she launched her career with a series of lo-fi releases that pitted her soaring vocals against harsh industrial clatter and hithery synths. The signature Zola Jesus sound became more hi-fi as she began to explore her own skewed vision of pop music on releases like Stridulum, uh, Valusha, and Canadas. With the release of Canadas, Danilova was propelled to regular appearances on festival stages around the world, as well as a special performance at the Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum in New York. That era culminated in the release of Versions, a collection of string quartet interpretations of her most beloved work, conducted by J.G. Thurwell. That album and subsequent tour were followed by her most hi-fi outing to date, Taiga coinciding with her return both to the Wisconsin woods in which she was raised and her longtime label, Sacred Bones Records, Zola Jesus produced Akiva, her darkest album yet, in which she followed that with additions, which included a remix of Ash to Bone by Johnny Jewell, which prompted her additional remix of Wise Blood. Earlier this year, Danilova's standout set from Roadburn 2018 was released as a live record, and she is now working on her seventh full-length album. Please join me in welcoming Nika Rosa Delanova. Thanks, John. Congratulations to all the finalists. Just being selected as one of the top four in the country in your category is quite an honor. We will begin with the Visual Media Festival, short film fiction. Third place, University of South Carolina, all Bark. Second place, Utah State University, Peak. And the winner is Taylor University, Nora. In the grand scheme of things, all we would be doing is walking across the stage to get this, what, a folder with a piece of paper saying congratulations. I mean, we still put all of the work that we needed to, and that doesn't take away from it, you know? Yeah. But I'm excited for college. I hope that quarantine is done before we get to go to orientation and all of that. That's something to look forward to. Kind of funny how it all keeps going, though. You walk outside and it's like, yeah, everything seems normal. You know, it's kind of sad when... The only thing you have to look forward to is spring. That's not sad. Short film nonfiction. Third place, Hampton University, More Than My Hair. Second place, Taylor University, Counting the Cost. And the winner is Taylor University, NERC. I was always competitive, but it was never with other people, right? My goal was always to outperform myself. What makes drone racing a good sport is that it is performance-based. It's, it's all about continuing to become better than yourself. How do you make sure that you're mentally prepared to compete at the highest level? Racing in three-dimensional space is that we can build courses that are not traditional, right? Cars can't go down through a gate or up through a gate. There's a fastest way around a corner in car racing and that's by hitting the apex on a corner. 
but now we have to do that in three-dimensional space. So you have to not only figure out the right entry and exit, but you have to do it on a three-dimensional curve. If you give me a map of a course, I can look at it and tell you where the apex is gonna be, how I'm going to fly the course in a, in, to a degree. And then once I've flown it once, I actually can remember everything and visualize my way through it. Digital Shorts, third place, Utah State University for the dogs. Second place, University of Mount Union, the worst life ever. And the winner is Rowan University, the perfect cup. TV pilot, and the winner is University of North Texas, Meeting of the Minds, Episode 1, Bias in the Media. Well, viewers also matter to bias because a lot of the bias is a perceived bias. So we call this the hostile media effect, whereby even if you have a per perfectly balanced newscast in the middle of the ideological spectrum, somebody on the left is going to perceive that as being too far right. And somebody who's on the right is going to see it as too far left. So if we look at public opinion data, um, overall in the United States, there's a perception of a slight liberal bias. But if you were to ask, to ask a conservative, they would register something more extreme. But again, I think viewers matter because we can't conclude definitively that there's a uh, a liberal bias to the media if we talk to a liberal person and they claim it's conservatively biased. That's true. bader meinhof phenomena, you, you guys have heard of that, where uh, it's consideration bias. So you've, you've probably done this. You're about to go on vacation to the beach and you read an article about a shark attack. And you're like, oh man, that's, that's not good. I'm, I'm about to go swim in the ocean. And then all of a sudden you see another report about a shark attack and then you hear it on the radio. And then you see it again and you see it again and it's a frequency bias because your your brain is almost you're open to shark attack stories we now move to the national student production award categories beginning with news best audio hard news reporting fourth place texas state university ktsw fm 89.9 clary act misreporting Third place, the college at Brockport, WBSU, students protest on campus. Second place, University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, WRSTFM, Bald Eagles Return. And the winner is University of Wisconsin Madison, WSUM 91.7 FM, Open Wisconsin Protest. On April 16th, Governor Tony Evers extended Wisconsin's Safer at Home Orders deadline to May 26th from the original end date of April 24th. Healthcare experts across the state supported the extension, agreeing with the governor's logic that it was necessary to stop the spread of COVID-19. Protesters waved American, Gladson, and Trump flags from within the crowd or out the windows of their car. Others carried signs adorned with slogans like, Make Wisconsin Essential Again? Adolf Evers, and let the strippers get back to work. While earlier protests were organized to abide by social distancing guidelines, this protest flew in the face of all such recommendations. Best video hard news reporting. Fourth place, University of South Carolina SGTV. Coronavirus outbreak leaves USC empty. Third place, Georgia State University, Neo Network, President Trump announces African-American initiative in Atlanta. Second place, University of Texas at Austin, reporting Texas TV. Restaurant owners say reopening isn't as easy as it sounds. And the winner is Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel, 
Toxic algae in Lake Pontchartrain. Debris and algae contamination have made the waters unsafe for fishing or swimming. The city of Mandeville is even closing off its popular lakefront beach at the end of Lakeshore Drive. The algae bloom has taken over primarily because of, you know, we don't have as much salt water in the lake. Locals are concerned not only about the potential health hazard caused by the algae, but also what it could do to the fish, crab, and shrimp that live in the lake given that most of the blue crab you find in restaurants on the North Shore come from the lake itself. The Louisiana Department of Health is urging people to avoid contact with any bluish green colored water and advising against harvesting or eating fish from the lake during the algae bloom. And for the time being, Mandeville City officials say that there's not very much they can do about this issue. It's more of a waiting game with Mother Nature as we wait for her to kick up those winds from the south and dump more of that salt water that's lying in the Gulf of Mexico back into Lake Pontchartrain. Best audio feature news reporting. Fourth place. University of Texas Arlington. UTARadio.com. Study abroad gone wrong. Third place. Seton Hall University. WSOU, the Glade honoring 9-11 related illnesses. Second place, Mississippi State University, WMSV Radio, Handicapped Pet. And the winner is Ithaca College, WICB-FM, Drag Queen Story Hour. Just around the corner from the Commons, families are piling into Buffalo Street Books for the bookstore's monthly story time. It's not just any story time. It's a story time hosted by drag queens. I'm going to read a book called My Tree and Me, a book of seasons. It is... Throughout the last few years, drag queen story hours have become a national phenomenon. The first one was organized in 2015 by Michelle T. She's a queer author and activist in San Francisco. After having a child, she realized that a lot of children's events weren't LGBTQ inclusive. So she set off to create one that was. From there, it exploded. As of November 2018, there were 27 official chapters of the organization. There's even one in Tokyo, Japan. Buffalo Street Books began their Drag Queen Story Hour last August. Best Video Feature News Reporting. Fourth place, Troy University, Troy Trojan Vision News, Italy Academy. Third place, Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel, July 4th in Baton Rouge. Second place, St. Cloud State University, UTVS Television, Twin Cities Honor Flight, November 2019. And the winner is University of Texas at Austin, Texas Student Television, Sneak Peek, Kate the Chemist. It was an epic demonstration. Epic is right. It's a science experiment you definitely can't try at home. So we take hot water and we dump it into liquid nitrogen. And what that does is we get a huge cloud and it's gas that's released, a white gas, and it's amazing. UT chemistry professor Dr. Kate Bieberdorf, or Kate the chemist as you might know her from TV and her videos, set off an explosion under the UT tower last Saturday. She was joined by more than 60 of her female science students to help her create a thundercloud that covered the plaza in white vapor. So it's easy to understand, it's also entertaining to watch, and it's also something that people, kids, may not realize is actually science. It was all part of a taping for the CBS Saturday morning show, Mission Unstoppable. Best audio newscast. Fourth place, Goshen College. WGCS 91.1 The Globe, Globe News Update. Third place, Illinois State University, WZND Fused Radio, Snow Day Newscast. Second place, Georgia College and State University, WGUR 95.3 FM, Evening Brief, March 30th, 2020. And the winner is Rowan University, Rowan Radio, 89.7 WGLS-FM, The Rowan Report. I'm Riley Meyer with your Rowan News. This week's segment is a topic that hits a little closer to home as the news department takes a look at the mental health crisis at Rowan University. As of late, there have been three reported suicides and one alleged attempt that happened within just the fall 2019 semester. Ryan Bussell, a junior at Rowan, was personally affected by the crisis after recently losing a friend. Uh, I did have a close friend of mine passed away on campus because of the 
mental health crisis occurring on campus. That, that does a lot to a community. The way I am personally affected, I guess, would be that the people I interact with aren't as happy uh, as they used to be. Or as a student body, I guess, we're not as together as we are. Or I guess we're more together now but not for the right reasons. On Thursday, a student fell from the third floor level of a parking garage on Rowan Boulevard. Best video newscast. Fourth place, Ithaca College, ICTV, Newswatch, December 8th, 2019. Third place, Baylor University, The Baylor Lariat, Global News Relay, COVID-19. Second place, Temple University, TUTV, Temple Update, November 14th, 2019. And the winner is Temple University, TUTV, Temple Update, March 12th, 2020. While Temple's main campus is just making the transition to online classes, Temple Rome and Japan students transitioned days ago and were sent home. Temple Update's Eric Coombs is live outside of Tuttleman Hall with details. Eric? Thanks, Adam. I got the chance to speak with students and faculty from both Temple Rome and Temple Japan to see how they were dealing with the outbreak of the coronavirus. Temple students who have been studying abroad in Rome and Japan have been forced to make tough decisions through the recent outbreak of the coronavirus. Temple Japan has had to recently make some adjustments as to prevent a major outbreak. Uh, right now, all courses at TUJ are being taught uh, online. Japan's campus has also taken precautions canceling all non-essential events, but students are still allowed on campus. Next up are the documentary and special broadcast categories. Best Video Documentary Public Affairs. Fourth place, Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel, 12 seconds at birth. Third place, Oregon State University, KBVR TV, behind the scenes, Locals Live, OSU Jazz Ensemble. Second place, University of South Carolina, SGTV, Mr. Blue Sky. And the winner is, St. Cloud University, UTVS Television, changing history one broadcast at a time. I've always been one of the only girls on a broadcast crew, and I was okay with it. I kind of just accepted it as the norm, kind of something I was just going to have to kind of live with until like maybe years and years down the road, and maybe there's more girls involved. But I kind of sat down and really thought about it. I was like, it doesn't have to be the norm. It's really important for females in broadcast to be able to have that experience and realize, hey, something like this is able to happen. I think it's really important. Women are capable of doing these things. And I think as girls, sometimes we don't think we're qualified for things, even when we are. Without the crew, it wouldn't have happened. Best audio documentary. Fourth place, University of Wisconsin-Madison, WSUM 91.7 FM. In their own words, protester and college Republicans speak out on demonstration. Third place, York College of Pennsylvania, WVYC FM, Marvin Dunmire, personal narrative. Second place, Mississippi State University, WMSV Radio, Hannah Vandy, auto documentary, bullying. And the winner is, Hillsdale College, WRFHFM, where all trails end, episode three. As special as Alex's story is, fortunately, it's not unique. One of the great things about being a camp counselor is that you get to witness scouts overcome their fears all the time. You often get to help them. Like I told Alexander, I too have great memories of the first week I came to Camp Parsons. What I found almost 10 years ago in the desolate wilderness of the Olympic Peninsula in the center of Jackson Cove were friends and memories I am told by those who came before me, and I do believe will last a lifetime. Best video special broadcast. Fourth place, Utah State University, USU Student Media, Logan City Limits Live. Third place, Boston University College of Communication, BUTV 10. Primary Focus 2020, Super Tuesday. Second place, Rowan University, Rowan Docks, 912, Up From the Ashes. And the winner is Midwestern State University, MNG Media, The East Side. Band, the school, band. I could hear them up at the school. It was about, oh, eight blocks away, but I could hear them in the evening. 
practicing. And uh, I remember the drums. I remember <laughs> I remember Tommy and Sammy on those snare drums. Boy, they sounded good. I thought I wanted to do that too. And I eventually did play drums. I played drums uh, when I was living here back in 67 and 68. I played drums down on Flood Street with a band. Flood Street, through my eyes, was, um, I can remember, Brenda Jarrett can remember seeing Bobby Blue Bland's bus, uh, Thatch Domino's bus, Tina Turner's bus, and these people represented not only entertainment, they really represented um, uh, more of um, a model for those that's gonna be in entertainment. Best Audio Special Broadcast. Fourth place, Hillsdale College, WRFHFM, WRFH at CPAC 2020. Third place, University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, WRST FM, Barista Bellyaches. Second place, New England School of Communications at Husson University, WHSN. Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Mystery and Imagination, Manuscript in a Bottle. And the winner is Loyola University, Maryland, WLOY Loyola Radio, Voices of COVID-19. Workers are now spending many hours a day on their laptops as working from home is the new normal. COVID-19 sent millions of Americans home indefinitely in order to stop the spread and flatten the curve. Here's how this affected the lives of some of the members of one family from Massachusetts. Kristen Moscone works for Wayfair and is based out of Boston. It has been a difficult transition for her as face-to-face -face communication is normally a big part of her job. My job has a lot of one-off questions and constant communication with other people. So I've definitely had to rely heavily on other forms of communication, such as uh, Google Hangouts and Slack messaging um, to ask a lot of those questions and uh, take the place of the in-person communication. Now for our promotional and PSA categories. Best audio station promo. Fourth place, Northwestern State University, KNWD. KNWD College Radio Day promo. Third place, Hillsdale College, WRFHFM, The Spin Room promo. Second place, DePaul University, Radio DePaul, Radio DePaul Spotify promo. And the winner is Rowan University, Rowan Radio 89.7, WGLSFM, The Ride at Five. Don't let workday traffic ruin your vibe. Yeah! Crank up the volume, adjust your seat, and tune in to The Ride at 5. You'll hear an hour of the best of the 70s, 80s, and 90s as the Rowan Radio DJs ease your commute home by playing all the music that matters. Life in the fast lane. Start living life in the fast lane with The Ride at 5, Monday through Thursday from 5 to 6 p.m. only on Rowan Radio 89.7 WGLS-FM. Best video station promo. Fourth place, Arkansas State University, Red Wolf Radio, Red Wolf Radio promo. Third place, University of South Carolina, SGTV, GMG coronavirus promo. Second place, Temple University, Owl Sports Update Productions, Owl Sports Update Station promo, Cherry Team. And the winner is University of South Carolina, SGTV, SGTV News for Black and White Commercial. All flags, including the one at the South Carolina State House, will be flown at half staff until the alumni help inform South Carolina legislators about the many ways that USC benefits. Baseball business. has started off their 2020 campaign 4-0 after sweeping Holy Cross, South Carolina, at the Carolina State Fair. It is the national and international. 13 cases of infected people in the U.S., but experts here at USC say there is no reason. Tonight is doing their comedy sketches. That's another branch of SGTV. It's a big deal. It's going to be. 60 again, but those showers are showing up. Tuesday will be 68 Super Bowl. In 50 years, they took down the San Francisco 49ers, 31. First Filipinos in California in October of 1587. Best audio public service announcement. 
Third place, Texas State University, KTSWFM 89.9, the Writing Center PSA. Second place, North Central College, WONC 89.1 FM, Naperville Humane Society. And the winner is Goshen College, WGCS 91.1 The Globe, Wagon Wednesdays. It's Wagon Wednesday. Every week, we partner with Dogtown Resort in Middlebury to help an animal in our community find a forever home. This week's featured pet is the shy but playful Bentley. You can find their picture by searching for 91.1 The Globe on Facebook, and you can help them make a connection to their new home by liking and sharing the post with your friends. Their friends will share it with their friends, and their friends will share it with their friends. Plus, who doesn't love cute animals on their timeline? Aww. If you're interested in adopting a pet from Dogtown Resort, you can contact them at 574-849-0844. Best Video Public Service Announcement. Fourth place, University of North Texas, North Texas Television, UNT Tailgating Etiquette. Third place, University of South Dakota, KYOT TV, KYOT Coyote Creative Quit Vaping PSA. Second place, University of North Texas, North Texas Television, Flu Uno PSA. And the winner is? Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel, Gunny McShute. Howdy do, kids. It's me, Gunny McShute, the gun in your parents' drawer. You know the one. Yep, I am a certified killing machine, literally. In fact, I kill at least eight of you kids at home every day. Good thing your parents leave me unprotected and full of ammo. They even keep the safety off. Anyways, for our first game, how about we... Whoopsie. Next up are sports categories. Best video sports reporting. Fourth place, University of North Texas, North Texas Television, 2009 to 2010 Sunbelt Champions Reunion. Third place, University of North Texas, North Texas Television, Olympic Dreams. Second place, St. Cloud State University, UTVS Television, The Miracle on Ice, 40 years ago today. And the winner is? Temple University, Owl Sports Update Productions, a walk-on on the water. We're going to go Trent, Ian, Dave, Kevin, Connor, Riley, Alex, and Drew. My favorite part has to be being on the water in the morning. And when you get down and you see the city and the sunrise, it makes everything worth it, just hanging out with the boys putting in the work, sweating together, working together, having fun together. Without the guys, it, it would make a big, big difference and not be as fun. If it comes down to another team and our team, we are more hardworking. We're going to put the effort in. We're going to last all the way to the last 250 meters. We're going to be the ones that are going to have that conversation with Payne, just like our coach says, and pull it out and win. Best audio sports recording, fourth place. Marshall University, WMUL-FM. Marshall men's soccer reflects on historic season. Third place, Eastern Illinois University, WEIU-FM. WEIU Sports, Hannah Heinz. Second place, Ithaca College, WICB-FM. Importance of the Cortica Jug rivalry football game. And the winner is Ithaca College, WICB-FM, 2019. Team Cortica Jug Football Game Open. We're here. We made it. It's almost time for the 61st annual Cortica Jug. By now, you know the story. Two schools separated by 21 miles, but united by an annual rivalry game that has spanned decades. The biggest little game in the nation started with a simple $2 jug purchased in 1959 and painted to match the school's colors. It has since been joined by two successors that carry on the tradition 60 years later. Today, that little game is on football's biggest stage. Best video sportscast. Fourth place, St. Cloud State University, UTVS Television, Husky Mag. Third place, Temple University, Owl Sports Update Productions, Inside the Nest, November 19th, 2019. Second place, Baylor University, The Baylor Laureate, Laureate TV News Today Sportscast, December 6th, 2019. And the winner is Southeastern Louisiana University, the Southeastern Channel, 
The Big Game, November 21st, 2019. Now, in case you haven't heard, the Riverbell Classic is tonight. This will be the 29th meeting between the Lions and the Colonels all time. And for more on the history of this historic rivalry game, here's the Big Game's Dylan Dome. As we look ahead to tonight's matchup in the Riverbell Classic featuring Southeastern and Nichols, let's turn back the hands of time on this rivalry game. These two schools started playing each other in 1972, and the all-time series is tied at 14. So whoever wins tonight not only gets the Riverbell trophy, but also gets the upper advantage. When Tim Rebo was hired to be the head coach of Nichols in 2015, he helped kickstart this intense rivalry. In that season, he led Nichols to their first win over the Lions since 2010. Coach Rebo has built such a strong reputation that when Ron Roberts left Southeastern to become the defensive coordinator of UL, Rebo was one of the leading candidates to become the new head coach of the Lions. Best audio sports cast, fourth place, Texas State University, KTSW FM 89.9. Sports update, March 11th, 2020. Third place, New England School of Communications at Houston University, WHSN. Call of the Eagle interview with NBA columnist Jackie McMullen. Second place, Northwest Missouri State University, KZLXLP Maryville, day-to-day -day picks. And the winner is Indiana State University, WZIS, WZIS sports update. Good afternoon, Wabash Valley. I'm Landon Kleindorfer, and this is your weekend sports update. The Indiana State Sycamores took on Eastern Kentucky on Saturday. ISU was able to pick up their first victory of the season. Running back Peterson Curlegrand had his second game with over 130 rushing yards while also finding the end zone once. Defense was the real story of the game, holding Eastern Kentucky to only seven points for the 19-7 victory. Best video live sports broadcast. Fourth place, Indiana University of Pennsylvania, Department of Communications Media, IUP Football. Third place, St. Cloud State University, UTVS Television, SCSU versus U Mary Men's Basketball. Second place, Ithaca College, ICTV, Bombers Live, Ithaca versus RPI Women's Basketball, February 29th, 2020. And the winner is? Pittsburgh State University, Caps 13, MWSU versus PSU football. That's just really good offense. That kind of highlights the connection that these players have on the offensive side of the ball. Steigerwald moves back into the gun. Cam Gray to the tight end on the right side. Steigerwald gets a snap, drops back to pass, steps up to avoid pressure, throws it over to the right side, has a receiver downfield with another big catch. In scoring position in the red zone was Burton Cooper. Burton, two big catches on this drive and another first down gets the chains moving. That was a great pass, but this is all about trust. He trusts his offensive line to be able to make that play so he can step up in the pocket and casually throw just a beautiful ball towards the end zone. The Griffins are rolling right now. Putting the ball on the Gorillas nine yard line, Steigerwald in the gun. Best audio sports play by play. Fourth place. University of Wisconsin-Madison, WSUM 91.7 FM, Rose Bowl play-by-play. -play. Third place, University of South Dakota, KAORFM, University of South Dakota Women's Basketball versus Creighton. Second place, Northwest Missouri State University, KZLXLP Maryville, Northwest Missouri State versus Pittsburgh State. And the winner is... Seton Hall University, WSOU. Seton Hall at home versus Michigan State. And that's a silly foul by Sandro because Gill looked like he had that ball covered. They ended up missing the shot. Hall missed the shot on that one because he was covered by Gill. And he misses the first shot at the line as well. These are Hall's first free throws of the night. He missed them both. Powell on the rebound. Nelson with it. Against Winston, driving right. Nelson, Powell, corner three. Yes! For the top of the key, Miles Powell is giving the Pirates the lead. 68-66. Winston across center, timeout, Michigan State. We now move to the general entertainment and specialty categories. Best podcast. Fourth place, University of Wisconsin Oshkosh, WRST-FM, Week in Review. 
Third place, University of Kansas, KJHK 90.7 FM, B-Sides, Wise Blood. Second place, American University in Cairo, AUC Radio, AUC Diaries podcast today with Afifi. And the winner is University of Pittsburgh, WPTS FM, WPTS impeachment podcast. So as you mentioned, there's been over 60 impeachment proceedings. So I did not cover any of the ones that are outside of presidential impeachments, but there's still a lot of presidents who have undergone some form of either a committee hearing or full-on impeachment. So we're going to talk about that. To kick it off, though, fun fact, interesting fact, every president elected since 1980 has been the subject of at least one resolution introduced into Congress with the intent of impeachment. Even Obama? Even Obama, which we'll get to at the end of this segment as we're going through history. And according to the numbers, really hard to get because it's hard to determine what a formal impeachment proceeding is in some cases, because like you said, there's a lot of different, it's kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. weird. But presidents who have faced formal impeachment proceedings, which means they've made it out of committee, are Andrew Johnson, Richard Nixon, Bill Clinton, and now Donald Trump. Best Video Live Production, fourth place, Oregon State University, KBVR-TV, Locals Live, OSU Jazz Ensemble, third place, Oregon State University, KBVR-TV, Locals Live, Honey. Second place, Newman University, Newman Media, Committed Episode 5, Emma. And the winner is Newman University, Newman Media, College Radio Day Interview, Ronan in Studio. I want to do dumb things with you, like 3 a.m. trips for fast food, like pretending when the It's not a crime to confess I want more than meaningless sex Cause when I hold you in my arms My heart beats so fast I'm alarmed I think we'll be If I caught feelings I don't really care Go to be honest like water I need you so bad Best Regularly Scheduled Entertainment Program. Fourth place, University of California, Berkeley, KALX 90.7 FM, The Graduates, Katie Kalia. Third place, University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh, WRST FM, Script to Screen. Second place, Felician University, Radio Felician University, Spill the Tea. And the winner is Hillsdale College, WRFHFM, State Facts, Ohio. How many presidents does Ohio claim? That's a great question. And Ohio is actually called the birthplace of presidents. It's actually the birthplace of modern presidents, in parentheses, modern. (laughs) Well, yeah, it's because we're tied with Virginia for most presidents because we have seven. Seven whole presidents. Virginia technically has eight. Here's the thing is you both claim William Henry Harrison, who was born and raised in Virginia but then moved and was like governor of the Northwest Territory and eventually yeah. became a senator there. Yeah, there's a, there's a statue of William Henry Harrison in downtown Cincinnati in Piot Park, and he's sitting on a horse holding a sword, <laughs> but he's not holding a sword because in the 90s, somebody snuck in at night and stole William Henry Harrison's sword. <laughs> and it hasn't been replaced. Best general entertainment program, fourth place. Texas State University, KTSWFM 89.9, Studio C, Retirement Party. Third place, Taylor University, Film and Media Production, Hardly Fashion. Second place, University of North Texas, North Texas Television, Writer's Room Season 9, Episode 1. And the winner is University of South Carolina, SGTV, Weird Things with Ward, Man with a Microchip. The mysterious, strange, paranormal, in a time where technology and science seems to point us further and further away from the supernatural. Something about a bizarre coincidence. Oh, it does. It's kind of squeaky. Creepy urban legend 
or a classic ghost story keeps us wanting more. Meet Evan Breyer, a freshman computer science student living at the Park Place apartment complex. Evan may seem like any other typical student, but what really makes Evan stand out lies just beneath the surface. The surface of the skin, that is. So you implanted a microchip into your hand? Four of them, yes. <laughs> why did you do that? Find out why this USC student decided to do something that many would consider out of this world. This time on Weird Things with Ward. Best DJ, fourth place, Illinois State University, WZND Fused Radio, Cosette Novik, Air Check. Third place, Colorado State University, KCSU FM, 3.0 Radio Show with DJ Carter Minter. Second place, Goshen College, WGCS 91.1 The Globe, Riley on Radio. And the winner is Goshen College, WGCS 91.1 The Globe, DJ Katie Mornings. Good morning, Globe Pals. That's right, it's me again, Katie for the Breakfast Blend. It's 6 one 32 and cloudy. After that long weekend we just had, I want to be the first person to wish you a happy Monday. And if today is feeling a little manic for you, you'll want to stick around for the College Radio Cut at 7.20. Spinning now for Globe Music is Leave You Alone by Omicron J Trauma on 91.1 The Globe. Friday, I'm in love by Whiskey Shivers on 91.1 The Globe. And if you're taking your special someone out this weekend, be prepared to spend a hefty amount of money on that date because according to Match.com, the average cost of a date in Indiana is $96.54. Best Comedy. Fourth place, University of Texas Dallas, UTD TV, Campus Consensus, theme songs, and the worst first dates. Third place, Oregon State University, KBVR-TV, Does It Toot? Celery. Second place, Temple University, TUTV, Temple Tonight. And the winner is Utah State University, USU Student Media, Piggyback Taxi. Did you ride today? Not today. Not today? Thank it's free though, today only. Yeah, no, I had a quiz and then a class. I can run you to your quiz. Can you do the quiz for me? No, no, I'll run, I'll run you to the quiz. You hop on my back and we'll run you to the quiz. I've been training all week for this. Really? Yeah? Come on, try on. Come on, let's go. Come on, I'm in position. Okay, jump. Okay, you on? Yeah. Onward! <laughs> I'm okay, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, push it onward for Narnia. And finally, our combined categories. Best social media presence. Fourth place, Ithaca College. Ithaca College Television, ICTV. ICTV News Social Media. Third place, Barry College, Viking Fusion. Viking Fusion Social Media. Second place, Temple University, Owl Sports Update Productions, at Owl Sports Update. And the winner is Baylor University, the Baylor Laureate, the Baylor Laureate. Best Station Imaging, fourth place, Goshen College, WGCS 91.1 The Globe, Globe Imaging. Third place, University of Tennessee Martin, WTM FM 90.3 The Hawk, WUTM News Promo. Second place, Rowan University, Rowan Radio 89.7 WGLS FM, Rowan Radio, the music that matters. And the winner is Illinois State University, WZND Fused Radio, WZND Imaging Demo. Hey, this is Dickie V, baby, and you're listening to The Red Zone, baby, only on 1033 WZND. Woo! Bring the beat in! Anything for you, Beyonce? Welcome to New Music Monday. 
This song is my special song. Turn it up loud. But I like to party. Walk it like a talk it. KJ have a dream. Are you ready for more nonstop music? Yeah! Join TJ, Jamie, and Carter every Monday at 5 for the five new songs of the week, new music, concert news, and local artist interviews. California girls, let's go! New Music Monday, only on 103.3 and WZND.com starts now. Best student media website, fourth place, Virginia Commonwealth University, WVCW Radio, WVCW website. Third place, Westminster College, WWNW and WCN, WCN247.com. Second place, Barry College, Viking Fusion, VikingFusion.com. And the winner is Georgia State University, Neo Network, Neo Network website. Congratulations to all of our finalists and winners. Thank you again to all of our judges. It's been a pleasure to be a part of such a wonderful collegiate broadcasting conference. Thank you all for having me this year. I will now return it over to CBI President John Morris for closing remarks. Thanks Nika for helping to support the best in college radio and television broadcasting. Thanks to all who entered and to our judges and sponsors. Check out the CBI website for details and deadlines for the 2021 competition and keep your best material so next year you will be up here either again or for the first time being recognized by CBI as one of the best in the country in college broadcasting. And be sure to join us next year for the 2021 National Student Electronic Media Convention in Orlando, Florida. And in 2022, we're taking the convention to Baltimore, Maryland. Remember, follow CBI on Instagram and Twitter at Ask CBI and like us on Facebook to learn more. Thank you for the convention, for your entries, and for being a part of CBI.